Okay, welcome everybody. Uh, my name is Crystal Bakker. I started 1st of September as a PhD at the Building Lighting Group here at TUE uh, Eindhoven. And today I want to tell you something about uh, occupancy-based office lighting uh, because I want to tailor the lighting uh, more precisely to the actual use of office spaces. So first of all, um, what do I mean with occupancy-based office lighting? Well, the principle is quite simple. Um, lighting remains switched off if nobody is present in the office. As soon as someone enters, lighting switches on. And I want to focus on open plan offices and why do I want to do that? Um, well, uh, the lighting is actually uh, controlled far from optimally here. Uh, we see either this uh, situation occurring, where lighting is controlled uh, on a floor level, so that means that lighting is on as soon as someone is present at the floor. Or we see the other extreme, where uh, lighting is controlled on an individual basis um, and switch on as depending on individual occupancy. Um, so I want to explain you um, the problem I see occurring about the current state of research uh, of lighting control strategies, um, the studies I intend to uh, do within my PhD, and how these contribute to a goal I want to achieve. Um, so as I just started, I don't have performed any studies yet, uh, so I will mainly tell you about my plan. Um, so, first of all, I have the opportunity to work in the EDGE. Uh, you might all have heard of it, uh, they really promote it a lot, as the smartest office building of the world, actually. Um, and that's also um, why I'm uh, part of the SPARC. Uh, yeah, SPARC project, uh, because it's in cooperation with Deloitte. Um, so the EDGE has an open plan layout, which means that um, there are large spaces uh, in which uh, desks are placed and those workspaces uh, are flexibly used. So people don't need to be uh, in the office, they can also work at home. And when they do come to the office, uh, they can choose ever, whatever workspace they like. So they are not fixed to one desk. Um, and within this edge building, Philips has installed a smart LED uh, lighting system and what's so special <coughs> about this system is that it has five sensors integrated uh, which measure illuminance, CO2, relative humidity, uh, temperature but also occupancy and, and that gives us a lot of data about occupants behavior and we can learn uh, from that and um, I want to use that to tailor the lighting more precisely to the actual occupancy in the office. So now uh, lighting is controlled per zone, um, which means a zone is, consists typically of four desks. And above uh, each two desk a motion sensor is placed and these communicate to uh, the four luminaires above those desks. So what does that mean? Um, if the left motion sensor measures occupancy at one of those <coughs> two desks, all four luminaires are switched on. And the same with the other motion sensor, if that one measures occupancy, again, the four, line, four luminaires are switched on. And besides whether it's one or three occupants, the same lighting control scenario is applied um, so that means that lighting is not really tailored to the actual use of the space and that energy is wasted. Um, and it can become even worse when uh, in that zone there are uh, occupants with very different occupancy patterns. Um, research has nearly shown that occupants tend to have five typical patterns, of which two you see here. The first one is uh, someone who tends to stay at his desk for the whole day. 
Uh, well, second one uh, also tends to go for a lunch break. Besides, um, occupants are also found to differ in their arrival and departure times at the office. Um, actually, over a period of two and a half hours. So while uh, the third occupant um, might arrive at a quarter past seven, the other one might arrive two and a half hours later and also leave two and a half hours later. So if you put those four uh, occupants in the same uh, zone, this means that lighting is switched on as soon as their first occupant arrives in the office early in the morning uh, and switched on only after uh, or when the late occupant leaves the office again. And as there are two occupants who stand to, day, stand to stay at their desk the whole day, <coughs> between those times, lighting remains switched on. So lighting is used um, non-optimally here. And that leads to my main research question. How can occupancy-based occupancy lighting be optimally used in open plan offices? Um, so that those situations you see there no longer occur. Um, so now I will tell you about what's already been studied um, in this context. And that actually has mainly been done in private offices, as it here it's more easy to control the lighting, <coughs> as there's just one individual worker who uh, leaves his office. And for example, uh, these researchers have investigated what's the effect of um, having different time delay settings, uh, which uh, they mean the time after which lighting is switched off after an occupant leaves his office on energy savings. And you can clearly see that um, the shorter the time delay, the more energy saving is used. Um, so for example, with a time delay of five minutes, it would mean that if an occupant leaves his office just for a short break to go to the toilet, for example, a lighting is already switched off. But what if we apply this now to open plan offices? There you have a lot of occupants who all go to the restroom once in a while. And if lighting would be switched off every time someone in the open plan space visits the restroom, you would get an, eff get an effect like that. So um, this is of course very annoying and we don't want that. Um, so when applying those strategies to open plan offices, it's really important to take account uh, for the comfort of the co-workers, of the others in the workspace. Um, so uh, by doing several studies, I want to investigate how we can account for that comfort of those co-workers. Um, first of all, I want to uh, reveal the individual occupancy patterns. So of those four um, different occupancy profiles we saw before, why do they have these profiles? Um, the suggestion was already made that it can be caused by job type. For example, people who do an administrative job tend to stay at their desk the whole time and do not have meetings, while managers, for example, are almost not at their desk and have meetings the whole day. Besides, spatial characteristics could play a role. Uh, depending on where your workspace is, um, you could have a different occupancy pattern. For example, if you're close to the window and you have a more concealed private workspace, you might be better or able to concentrate better um, and don't need that many breaks. Or for example, if you're close to the elevator, you tend to have um, um, shorter in inactivity periods because you can visit the restroom soon and you're quick to meetings, quick back. Uh, but also time characters could play a role. Um, Buffer um, already studied the occupancy diversity factor of buildings, which means um, the number of occupants that's present of the total amount of workers, and they found differences between months. There are months where the office is occupied highly uh, and months where it's less. 
and for example also only found that um, on days that are close to holidays so the day before Christmas for example occupants tend to occupy like on Fridays they leave early um, because next day they are free but occupancy is not just an individual choice there are also some restrictions for example everybody has to uh, take off uh, during Christmas and um, for example this day might be obligated by your company you have to attend this so it's not an individual choice so I also need to take these in, into account and when I then identified those individual occupancy patterns um, I could cluster those with similar ones. So while before in a zone of four occupants, they all uh, had a different profile, I could cluster those with um, similar profiles and make and achieve that lighting is used more optimally. So then, for example, if the left would be the ones that arrive early and go home early, only during that period, lighting needs to be switched on. And thereby, it's also important to account for lighting preferences because some people um, need more light than others to be able to do their work, for example, because they are older or they uh, wear glasses. Um, and if you um, put such workers next to each other, you can still not achieve optimal lighting use. But clustering might actually um, not be accepted by uh, workers because people really want to be in control over their environment so also over their work environment so it's important to also um, create acceptance and um, that might be solved by um, looking into workspace preferences so by uh, it might be difficult to find that workplace in the very big office that is really as you like um, and by um, providing some help uh, on that, acceptance might be create, uh, achieved. Um, then with this information I want to develop occupancy based lighting control strategies that are tailored to the open plan offices and for example um, the time delay setting I told you about before, um, I'm going to investigate oh, how that should be uh, so that the discomfort on co-workers is minimized and also whether for example lighting um, if people go for a short break shouldn't be switched off but dimmed and then uh, within this open plan office whether the lighting control strategies can also be tailored to the individual worker it was nearly found that um, Occupants tend to have uh, different activity levels or different inactivity periods. And um, the time delay setting could be tailored to that inactivity period. So if you have a high inactivity period, you can have a shorter time delay because um, you leave quite often. But again, this study was performed in a private office. So if you want to apply this to open plan offices, we again need to take into account the comfort of the co-workers. Um, so these studies uh, all contribute to the aim I want to accomplish within my PhD. I want to realize la optimal lighting use and comfort, so that only lighting um, is there where there's occupancy, and that both the worker but also the co-workers have optimal comfort. And that was my presentation. I want to thank you for your attention. Uh, is there anybody who has a question? <laughs>